Today's video is a bin haul. If you want to see what I got and want to know what I'm going to do with it, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale, and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. It really does mean a lot to me as I work on building my positive reseller community. And if you are returning, thank you so much reseller besties. I love communicating with you guys on social media and in the chat. So be sure to leave me a comment down below what was your favorite item in the haul? So today's video is a bins haul. I um, frequent the bins. It's where I do most of my sourcing. If you're not familiar, the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the bins, is a pay by the pound Goodwill store. And the items come out in these huge big blue bins. I'll leave a picture up here. And you just go for what you know. You just get in there and dig and dig and dig and find the stuff, you take it up, they weigh your cart, and then you're out of there. And so generally you can get items, your cost of goods down really low, under a dollar in most cases. So that's why I source there. Well, it's one of the places that I source. But today I'm going to show you what I um, got in my most recent bins trip, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. Um, if you're new here, I have three different avenues in which I sell things. So the first avenue is that I list it and sell it myself. So it would be listed to Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Kitizen, Facebook Marketplace, TradeZ, and I think that's it. I might be missing one. I don't have my list here. Um, and then the uh, next avenue is, it could be an item that I purchased for one of my Whatnot auctions. If you're not familiar, Whatnot is a live auction site. And I've only been on that platform since July. So I am trying to build a following over there. And so I have, I have in the past had $2, $3 start auctions. I still have a lot of those scheduled for um, August. So if you want to check out me out on whatnot, it's an excellent opportunity to get some inventory. If you're a reseller yourself, these are all things that I sourced that uh, in the past year or so that, and most of it you can see it's listed in my Poshmark closet right now and what I have it listed for. Um, the reason one of the one of my viewers messaged me like, "Am I going out of business?" No, the reason that I am. Um, selling things so cheaply on whatnot is because I'm trying to gain a following and I just want to, since product is plentiful for me um, and I have plenty of things, um, I'm just trying to spread some of the love. So basically, you're paying for my time to go find it for you if you get it for $2. I'm like, so plus, you know, shipping, of course, if you bundle, you get discounted shipping. So my whatnot auction info is linked below. Feel free to join me anytime. Definitely when you pop in, let me know that you are a YouTube follower um, because it does mean a lot to me that I get that crossover interaction and you just get to see me in another realm. So, and the third place that I send things is to the real, real, although I am so behind my real real pile is huge so i have got to get that shipped off this weekend i'm off from my other job saturday so i'm going to work on that so we are going to get into the haul and i'll tell you what i will i'm where i'm going to send the items what i'm going to do with the items and why so here we go i have two huge overflowing ikea bags and i try to separate them like kids and um kids and regular but we'll see so this first item i'm gonna push it back is this be cool flannel shirt it's just a basic flannel shirt size medium i'm gonna go ahead and get this listed because fall is coming and people wear fall flannel in the fall i have not looked at the any of the style trend reports i've been so busy trying to do all the things, but I am going to sit down and do some research on what styles are and colors and all that are in for fall and start, and I might do a YouTube video on it. So this is a knit sweater. 
It's by the brand um, Peach Love California. It's made in the USA. It's got this open back um, detail and these like fun, like dolman, like puffy sleeve thing going on. It's a size, huh. I I'm, I'm, don't see the size tag. I'll have to do, so. oh wait, here it is. Is it? It's a size large. So I'm gonna get that listed. Now, just because things might start off on Poshmark doesn't mean they'll always stay there. Um, if I feel like it's appropriate for a whatnot sale, I do do my whatnot sales on themes. So like tomorrow's theme um, is athletic apparel. So if I feel like um, it, anything I have in stock that I'd want to use to round out my whatnot, I throw, try to throw some bangers in there so there's like some really good deals if people are trying to build an inventory. So just because it, and sometimes we list it, it's listed on Poshmark until it sells. So even if we put it in a whatnot sale, if it doesn't sell in that sale, it's still listed on Poshmark at its regular price. Um, next is this polo by Ralph Lauren hooded jacket. So hopefully I can get some good money for this. Maybe like See if I can make my screen bigger. Maybe like 30 bucks or so. I'll look up the comps. But, you know, I did come from the bins. And this is the type of thing that will sell in the upcoming season. The next item is this Talbot's small button-down shirt. I am going to get this listed. Talbots does do well for me on the platforms. Um, the next item is this White House Black Market. And I'm only sh I'll am only i only show you the tag if I think you, it might be like a new to us brand. Because uh, I have a lot of stuff and I don't want to hold you hostage here on YouTube. But this is a White House Black Market um, denim chambray dress. It does have side pockets. I'm going to get it listed, but I if it hasn't sold by the end of the month, it will probably be in my denim whatnot auction. And it'll start a little higher. So these are current Elliot. I might have showed you these before, but they just got washed because they had a sensor on them. So I'm not sure if I sold had showed you I had to take them back. This is actually um, from a consignment shop. So they might have been a consignment shop haul. But these are a size 26. And I will get those listed. Oh yeah, some of this stuff I'm going to skip through because I already showed you. It just had stains and had to be rewashed. Let me sort through. Sometimes I'm mixing up my piles. Okay. I'm not sure if this was one of them. This is a Pastola. And it's just a cropped utility jacket, um, like canvas. It's lined, hoping to get about 35 for this. This is a Lucky Brand peasant top. It is a size medium. Um, so, yeah, probably about 20 bucks for that. Lucky Brand is hit or miss. The larger sizes do better, but I will sell it all. And if it doesn't go in a timely fashion and I have like a Boho Brands theme or a Stripe theme, uh, I'll pull it and sell it. This is Ava Eve and it's an X, which is like a zero X. And it's this like high-low blouse. This was mine um, and I just mixed it in there because I do clean out my closet regularly and get rid of things or sell things that I'm not wearing. This is Victoria's Secret, and it is, is it, a, it, oh, it's missing a button, I'll have to note that. It is like a night shirt, a flannel, like, night shirt, but it is missing a button, so someone, you could move them around, take this top button. I'm not going to do that, because I don't do repairs, so I do do stain treatment, but I do not do repairs. Unless I want to keep it for myself. Because um, I am a volume seller. So the, thing, the quicker I get things listed, 
the better it is for us. So and by us, I mean me and my, my husband and I, we work together. And he certainly is not going to repair anything. In addition to this job, um, reselling full-time, I do work out of the home about 20 hours a week. Um, so it, there's just no time for that. Like I'd rather like do a haul video with you guys than sit down and sew. Maybe in the future I will change my mind, but I'm not there yet. This I got because I thought it was just beautiful. It is J. Jill and it's got this like beautifully embroidered pattern on it. And I know it's like a springtime color and it'll probably sit forever, but I just thought it was gorgeous. This is a Fabletics athletic sports bra. Um, this one's mine, but I am reselling it because I just don't wear it. Next up, we have, who, is, who are we? This is Athleta. Those of you who've been on the channel know that Athleta is like bread and butter for me. And this is a wrap. Um, if you're not familiar and you want stock photos for Athleta when you're listing, um, there's an inside tag and the style number is the middle number here. So the middle number is the style number and I can always Google that and um, this I'll find a stock photo. Sometimes the stock photo isn't in the color I have, but it's sometimes just good to like um, see this, the name of the item. So you can add that in your listing. Most of the site, I think on all of the sites, stock photos are like a community violation or whatever, but it is up to you um, what you do. Like I'm not here to be the stock photo police. I use stock, I look for stock photos for every item if I don't find it. Um, oh, well, my husband takes pretty good photos, but I do like to include how it's styled. I have gotten a few like notices from different platforms about it. And then I just don't list the, use the stock photo on those platforms. But Poshmark is my main bay. And until they like say, don't use it on Poshmark, I will continue to do so. It's easier. What What is the saying? It's easier. I t well, typically I'm a rule follower, but and that, since so many people are, it's called keeping up with the flow of traffic. That's what my dad used to say when he was speeding, that he was keeping up with the flow of traffic. So that's what I feel like I'm doing by using stock photos on Poshmark. Next up, I know you should not justify your wrongdoing with another person's wrongdoing, but I'm just being honest. Next up are these bib overalls, and they're by the brand Mosmo which is sold at Target. And I have been picking up overalls and they have been selling from anywhere from 15 to $25, no matter the brand. So hopefully that trend continues through the fall. Um, what is this guy? Okay, so this is Philosophy and this is a 2XL cardigan wrap. It's black and I feel like it's got pockets. It's more like a blazer actually, a knit blazer, but the pockets are not functional. Um, I'm going to list this. I think, I think everything so far has been a list, which is, you know, that's fine. Those, I make more money off of listing things myself than any other thing, any other avenue. So this next top is the brand Tape Measure. And the, you'll notice, let me show you, that the tag is a little tape measure. This is brand, um, I'm not sure if it still is, but it used to be sold at Anthropology. And this is just a like sheer chiffon um, crinkle like blouse. Got a bra, got a bra. This is Victoria's Secret 34C. Um, and the kind is fade it out but I'll just get it I'll just try, try to like research it because um, it does have this little bow detail and it is like padded and lined so if nothing else I'll just put that in the description and um, bras can do really well I typically prefer the I don't want to say odd sizes but the larger size like if it's like a 34 like like a 32 like F 
or like 34 B C 36 C those are pretty common but for larger bras or all unique sizing um, they're not as common sorry my lawn is being cut I apologize um, you can get really good money for them and as a person who has a larger size bra and had an even larger size bra um, before bras are expensive so the larger that you can find them the more they're going to resell for because they are expensive for larger sizes these are Maddie M. Um, I'm not, I think this might be sold at Macy's. But these are just like a, a knit ponte pant jegging type situation. Um, I'm going to list them. They probably won't go for more than $15. But coincidentally, like when I get things at the bins, I, the goal is to get between $15 and $20 for them. Of course, if I can get it's worth more, it will be listed for more. Um, but I don't want to pick up, be, and I and I have to set that threshold because there is so much like Old Navy and Express and things that I'm not going to even be able to get ten dollars for in excellent pre-owned condition in the bins, and so I just have to kind of like lower the threshold. Otherwise, I would have so much low-end stuff, and um, you know, doing this as a full-time job, we need to make the focus the goal for us is to really get our cost of goods up or not our cost of goods up but our sell average sell price up um so we don't have to work as hard <laughs> so we'd like to sell more things the same amount of things but each of those things be worth more money but um we are happy in the basics area right now this is billy bird or billy reed and it's a size medium when I looked it up, speaking of, this was going for about, these were going for between $20 and $30 used. So, I'm going to find out some more. I love research projects. Of course, I think these are some, no, these are aloe yoga. And these were go all over the place as well. But I think I can get about $40 for these because they are black. Um, they need to be fuzz busted, but they are a size... tearaway tag is here, but I don't see the size. Hmm. I'm going to say small. It doesn't say on that tag, but these are really small, so I'll have to kind of measure them. So, next up is this Mickey Mouse tee. I do have, I am collecting Disney items for a Disney whatnot um, sale, so this is a 2XL and it this will go to whatnot um sometimes i list this stuff but anything disney that is in my poshmark closet will eventually go in that whatnot sale when i have it and i'll probably disney good disney stuff is really hard to come by so that might be a sale that i just like really source for um throughout the months and then like have it once a quarter um I'm so thirsty. Um, so, my goal is to continue on with whatnot at least through December 31st. Oops, I don't want to overflow my pop here on air. Um, but we will we will reevaluate whether we want to continue doing whatnot or just up our production um, with YouTube videos and um, just listing on the other platforms at the first of the year. Uh, I do plan on sunsetting my um, casework job here in the next, by the end of the year, and just strictly resell and momming um, and YouTube full time. So that is the plan. So the next um, item is a Cynthia Steffi dress, oh, not dress, skirt, and it is why it is not going to be good to in I mean I will get it listed down but it's not going to sell for a long time because we're fading out of white but you never know what people need and so somewhere somebody somehow might need a white shirt and I will or a skirt and I will have it for you I'm 
sorry to be so rude. I should have a straw. I don't have a straw. I'm like, I've had a long day. Next step, another philosophy piece. This is 1X and it's a flannel shirt. And so, yeah, we'll get that listed. Like I said, flannel season is coming up here in the Midwest where I live. And uh, I'm sure some places it's flannel time all the time. But we like to pull out our flannel here in Indiana in the in the fall. This is the Columbia PFG line, um, which is like I believe they're fishing line. So these things go for a little bit more. I'm hoping to get between twenty five and thirty five for this. It is the button front, and it is a size medium. I feel like this is a woman's size, but I'll have to look up the yeah. tag. Hey. Can someone, if you know, how do you know if it's men's or women's based on the buttons? Is Are the buttons on the right or the left for men's? Let me know in the comments. It's not a quiz. I just really want to know. <laughs> Next, I have this Tommy Hilfiger puffer vest. And I did have to do some stain treatment on this, but I think it came out pretty well. And it'll be perfect for the fall. Um, it's a size small, and I'm hoping to get about 35 for this. Yeah. Next up, we have these Talbot size 10 petite. This is the Hampshire cut. Those are all my dryer sheets. Um, this is, and it's this, and I love this, like, um, tan color. I think if you can wear, go dark with it, go light with it. But this is just a nice... A nice career pant and I'll probably get about 25 for those <laughs> these are these are what brand are these they're size medium they are this brand <laughs> I don't know how to say it. N Y G T N. I feel like I'm looking at an eye chart, like at the eye doctors. But um, I think I'm just gonna throw these in my whatnot cell. I'll look them up the comps. I think I might just throw them in the whatnot cell for tomorrow. So I'm gonna stick those there because I'm gonna look them up before I make my final decision on those. And I got the this shirt because this is rods. Western wear because um, Western wear every time I get a piece of Western wear it sells quickly so this has got a green print with horses I thought about wearing it to Posh Fest because Posh Fest is in Houston Texas and I feel like I I don't know should have a cowgirl motif but I don't know it's a size medium um, I probably will not wear it to Texas because it's gonna be hot down there but I plan on getting this listed reach down and get the last of this bag. Okay. So the next item is this Zoo, Zoo York um, hooded sweatshirt. And when I looked up the comps on these, they were going for about $30. So we'll get her, get her listed and see how she does. And then this is another Talbot's piece. This is a medium cardigan. I do like to pick up these like little basics because um, they sell quickly. And Talbot's retail is an expensive brand. Um, this probably was like $90 and when it was in the store. Um, I'll probably get between 20 and 25 for it. I'm trying to see. So this is... Um, uh, Old Navy and this is going to go in my kids Old Navy um, whatnot cell or my kids whatnot cell but it is just like a Old Navy like performance like sweatshirt um, and I think that was from the wash load so that's bag one down so this next sack I'm going to fly through because I think I did a good job of sorting it and that it's mostly kids so so that way you can see what kids brands i'm picking up for whatnot 
I am primarily focusing on um, going to move all of my kids' items um, to whatnot. I'm only sourcing kids for whatnot now. I'm not really sourcing in um, the real, real, um, unless it's just like real high end kids because I have had many Bowden and things sell on Poshmark. But I'm going to try to. Uh, put things like this like because and the reason I'm doing that is because like on Poshmark which Poshmark is my primary platform I'm hoping that in 2023 like that eBay can overtake Poshmark but right now Poshmark is my primary platform and people just don't want to pay the extra shipping for a little kid's piece it just doesn't make sense financially so um that's why I like listening them over or do auctioning them on, on whatnot because people will bundle them and they can get discounted shipping so the first piece i have is under armor and it's just this basic long sleeve tee um this is a cat and jack sleeper um i'll tell you what i'm gonna do with sleepers at the end this is an old navy piece it's this large sweater Adidas boys basketball or athletic shorts and they have to spell it out This is an old navy hooded coat and it is um, a 3t um, These are granimals size 12 month camo pants. They are adorable uh, These are champion spell out uh, sweatpants and they are a kids medium I have this Disney um, onesie which will go in my Disney cell and um, onesies sleepers and onesies have a special pile because I'm gonna do something special with them so I'll just like sh show you in Move them, move them on. So this is a Nike um, hooded sweatshirt. These are Levi's. What are these? 511 slim jeans. So these are all kids things. Okay, so this is a Hannah Anderson dress. And it will go in the whatnot cell. Another onesie with dinosaurs. These are H&M little joggers. Jamboree little um, track paint. But you know what? Hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. Um, these gotta go because the waistband shot. Whenever you hear that cracking, the waistband is no good anymore. Um, what is this guy? This is Jamboree, I like a just little rocket tee. Um, a Nike jump per, jump man t-shirt. A sleeper with owls, so this is a girl thing. Uh, I'm old, I don't mean to identify clothing by gender, but that is where I came from in life, my space in life, and I'm, I love all, I accept all, I mean no offense. So don't leave me any comments about it. This is a Cherokee, um, which I can't remember, I think it might be Kohl's, but it's a hooded, like, full zip cardigan. This is, what is this? Oh, Cynthia Raleigh, and this needs to be steamed out, but it is a nice little, like, ombre print sundress. Another sleeper, sleeper. Um, this is a little thermal with a bear print and it's cuddly dud. The cutest ever, look at this little like orange. Um, this is health tech baby, size 12 orange vest. Some cutie needs that in his life or her life. This is Janie and Jack. And it is this vet, uh, this blazer. Okay. 
this is some little Carter's pants. They're going to go down here with the onesies. These are Abercrombie Kids. And they're just like a straight, like, pant, like, jean. Which, Abercrombie is so expensive in the stores. This is, these are Buster Brown. I had to get them because they were Buster Brown and they might be vintage. I'm going to put these in my lookup pile right here. Mm. I knew with tags, um, Walt Disney World onesie. But I'm not sure if it's actual Disney. Yeah, it is. So, I will toss that in my Disney pile. This is Baby Be Gosh. Just a collared, like, dress shirt onesie. Um, that's not going to go with my sleepers. Another sleeper. And then this adorable little coat. This is Cherokee 3T. So, adorable little dress coat. It's got the bow detail on the back. And so I have enough stuff for like whatnot auction, kids whatnot for days. These are Jamboree, they're a size three. And the elastic sounds good. Sleepers. This is a boys Under Armour polo. This is a tea collection, and it's just a hooded, like, long sleeve. A few more things. So, Minnie Mouse onesie. So she's going to go with the Disney stuff. Now, this was a two-part pajama, and I meant to throw this back, and I didn't. But this is a Burt's Bees um, part of a pajama set, and it's Christmas thing. Christmas themed. I really need to just redonate this because it's not the whole set, but I'll put it down here for right now and think about what I'm going to do with it. This is a, where is this? H&M little dress. It's got reindeer on it. What's her name? Bambi? Is that the who is? This is a, who are you? Nike um, full zip, like, hooded jacket. This is a Hannah Anderson piece. It is just a knit sweater with foxes on it. We have another sleeper. Um, this little t-shirt. Old Navy. I'm going to put that down there with the sleepers. And then... We have, this is called but from the brand Bundles, which I've never heard of, but this cute little onesie. And then the last piece I have is this Baby Gap sweater. And it has the arm patches and the elbow patches. So, the sleepers and onesies are going to be bundled by light color and size and sold in bundles um on whatnot i just thought like those are sold in stores in the in bundles so and they're so plentiful in the bins and a lot of them are like excellent pre-owned condition or even like new with tags like they weren't they don't have the tags because a lot of people wash their baby stuff before they put it away but then the Baby never actually wears it, so it's still new, and it's in excellent condition. So I'm going to gather those things and then create bundles for on um, whatnot of those things. Um, I'm One of the things I'm thinking about is like a 12-month 12, 12 onesie pack that goes from like three months, like newborn, to 12 months, like or a sleeper pack where you get like multiple sleepers. I've just been kicking around a lot of things because that there are so many of those things in the bins that, and I feel like that would be something that people might want to get pre-owned for real cheap on a whatnot sell. So that is today's haul. Let me know in the comments down below how you think I did 
and uh, what if you would do anything different with the items that I picked up. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.